I'm Mary Hunt, a feminist theologian and the co-director of WATER, the Women's Alliance for Theology, Ethics, and Ritual. I begin with my thanks to the Faith Trust Institute for taking this issue so seriously. I come from the Catholic tradition. My concern today is what Catholics ought to do to address gender violence. I have two simple, concrete suggestions. First, just stop it. And second, don't repeat it. First, just stop it. I know that sounds naive, but I mean it sincerely. Catholics are years into a pedophilia crisis that won't quit. Lots of those abused children are girls. Just stop it by educating and screening ministers so that prevention, not prosecution, will become the norm. Clerics who covered up the Catholic crimes are all men. The exclusion of women from ordained ministry and leadership in the Catholic community is another form of gender violence. Just stop it by dismantling the whole hierarchical system. Let those who have gifts for ministry minister as they are called. Catholic clergy perpetrate sexual violence when they interfere with women's right to reproductive health care. This is another form of gender violence. Just stop it by abiding by the results of the 2012 election and implementing the Affordable Care Act without religious exemptions. Just stop it is easy to say but hard to do. It's time, however, to be firm with Catholic leaders who have modeled unjust, unholy, and yes, at times, criminal behavior. Just stop it. My second suggestion is that we Catholics need to avoid repeating what we have experienced. We have experienced violence, and therefore we are prone to violent behavior ourselves. We must stop the cycle of violence. This is difficult to do, because so often people default to learned behavior. We have been schooled in a culture of violence, and we need to unlearn it. Our own Catholic tradition can help. We teach our children that our bodies are sacred, temples of the Holy Spirit. Well, let's treat our own and other people's bodies as if that were true. We teach our children that God loves everyone. Let's expect loving behavior and settle for nothing less. It will take more than 16 days for Catholics to unlearn violence and to repair the damage of decades of clergy sexual abuse. My prayer today is that we develop firm resolve to just stop it when violence happens and to avoid repeating violence at all costs. Then people can look to us, the largest Christian denomination in the United States, as proof that radical change is possible. Thank you.